One race we're following back here in Eastern North Carolina is for U.S. Congress in District 1. State Senator Don Davis and businesswoman Sandy Smith are competing for the spot. Either Davis or Smith will be taking over after longtime Congressman G.K. Butterfield announced his retirement after 18 years of representing the district. Nine on your sides, Aaron Jenkins is live now in Pitt County. And Aaron, what do we know about this race? Angie, District 1 is a newly drawn district this year that covers most of the counties in eastern, northeast North Carolina, as well as down in here into Pitt and Green counties. Both Davis and Smith say they have what it takes to represent this mostly rural district. Don Davis is running as the Democrat this election and is a current state senator for District 5. Before his time in the General Assembly, he served in the United States Air Force and was the mayor of Snow Hill. Davis says his priorities are putting resources back back into schools and ensuring access to quality health care across the whole district. On the Republican side of the ticket is Sandy Smith. Smith ran in this race in 2020, but was edged out by GK Butterfield. Smith has a long resume of working in business for local and national companies. If elected, Smith says she plans to stand up against abortions and work to protect gun rights. Now we'll be following this race all evening as well as bringing you updates and reactions to this race tonight on your news at 10 and 11. Live in Greenville, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. Aaron, thank you. Moving on to our second U.S. House seat in the East, District 3. That's where the incumbent Republican Greg Murphy is going for re-election against Democrat Barbara Gaskins. Nine on your side's Claire Curry. She's joining us live outside one of the Jacksonville polling sites with more from the candidates. Claire. Angie, this election day determines if people are happy with the direction the country's been going in the last two years or if there needs to be a change. Since 2019, Republican Greg Murphy has been in office representing the 3rd Congressional District, but his opponent, Democrat Barbara Gaskins, hopes to challenge that with this election. Murphy stands for issues regarding the economy, energy, and veterans, whereas Gaskins focuses her campaign on education and rebuilding the middle class. I have reached out to both candidates on their hopes for election night. Murphy says that he congratulates everyone that put their names on the ballot and encourages everyone to cast their vote. I have also reached out to Gaskins for comment and have yet to hear from her today. The polls close at 730 this evening, so there's still time to exercise that right to vote and make it count. Live in Jacksonville, Claire Curry, nine on your side. Claire, thank you. And tonight isn't just about those U.S. House and Senate seats. There are plenty of open sheriff positions being decided tonight across the East. One of them right here in Pitt County. Now to your side, Adriana Hargrove spoke to both Pitt County Sheriff candidates, Democrat Paula Dance and Republican Gary Weaver. She joined us now live in Greenville. And Adriana, what are the candidates saying about the push at the polls? Well, Ken, both candidates say that they are so glad to see the community come out and vote to get their voices heard. Both Sheriff Dance and Candidate Weaver traveled to different polling locations across the county. And when I spoke to them, they both had a similar message if they won to make sure our communities are safe. Now at the top of their list is tackling crime. Both candidates say they're confident about winning this election and hope to be a strong law enforcement voice in Pitt County. Now, I am following the Pitt County Sheriff's race all throughout the night, and I will be giving you live updates in later shows. Live in Greenville, Adriana Hargrove, nine on your side. Adriana, thank you. Beaufort County is also naming a new sheriff tonight to replace outgoing Sheriff Ernie Coleman. Nine on your side's Caitlin Richards is following this race for us tonight. She joins us now outside of a polling site in Beaufort County. So, Caitlin, what are these candidates saying ahead of elections tonight? Ken, Angie, the two candidates running for sheriff is Republican candidate Scott Hammonds and Democratic candidate Corey Rogerson. Both have strong stances about their potential role as Beaufort County Sheriff. Scott Hammonds is a veteran. He wants to build confidence and trust within the community. He says the sheriff is the lead that sets the stage for other jurisdictions in the community, and he wants to lead by example. Corey Rogerson has a background in law enforcement. Some of his priorities include recruiting deputies and keeping them at the local agency to help combat the severe staffing shortage the Beaufort County Sheriff's Department is facing. Both candidates say win or lose, they just want the best outcome for the county they both care about. Coming up on WNCT at 5:30, we'll hear from both candidates ahead of the results. Live in Beaufort County, Kaitlin Richards 9 on your side. Kaitlin, thank you. Well, polls 
Polls close at 7:30 tonight, and it's important to know that if you're in line at 7:30, you will be allowed to vote early. And absentee voting results will start being put out by the state at that time. That will continue for about an hour, updating every five to ten minutes, and we should start getting results from precincts between 8:30 and 1 in the morning. So remember, reporting times will be will vary by county. And after you submit your ballot on election day, you probably don't think about it again, but it's beginning a journey that will last almost two years. Once you turn in your ballot, either in person or by mail, it is obviously counted. In some cases, it may be counted again or reviewed during an audit. After that period, it's stored with other forms on or records from election day in a secure room and it will remain there for 22 months. The extended period gives elections officials the opportunity to focus on the next step in the ballot's life cycle, that is destruction.